and welcome to another episode of Frightfully Forgotten Horror Movies. What are we drinking today, Adam? Today we are drinking Freddy's Boiler Room Steam Ale. Yeah. If you want the recipe, click the link up above our heads. All right. And today is our last episode of 2018. We're going to be doing some shout-outs, some channels that we have gotten friendly with, and we're going to be doing some shout-outs to some people also that have gotten friendly to our channel. Our faithful subscribers. Yes, that's right. Because without you, well, we probably wouldn't be bothering to do any of this, right? Yeah. I mean... To start off, is some of the people have been commenting on our episodes the most. So the most frequent commenters that we've noticed. And uh, if we miss anyone, we're so sorry, but we're just kind of going off the last couple of months. Thank you very much. And here we go. So thank you, Loresque TJ. Right. Yes. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Carver Lewis, for always mentioning yeah. some movies for us and such. I'm sure this is a play on the famous scientist. <laughs> yeah, but Carl. thank you, Narl Sagan. <laughs> yeah. Uh, thank you very much, Matt Johnson. Gonzalo Valdez. Yes. We're not sure exactly where you're from. We know you're from somewhere, probably... South America, yeah, maybe? Uh, I don't know. But yeah, thank you very much for sharing a lot of your memories with us from yes. your childhood uh, horror movie experiences. Last and definitely not least, we'd like to thank our one and only patron on Patreon. Thank you very much from the depths of our hearts. Uh, if this is not your real name, we're sorry, but Michelle Bonus is our one patron on Patreon. And uh, I'd like to thank you for contributing towards the channel and commenting like crazy. Yes. We love interacting and getting feedback and just talking about horror movies. Like, that's half yeah. of the channel is building a community. Exactly. And being able to talk and, and, and have fun and share memories, you know? Yeah, and I think that's one of the... One of the best things that I've noticed about the VHS Tales thing is that, and especially I've noticed Michelle uh, commenting on what the VHS movies means to you. Yeah, or the first time right? you saw a movie. It may not even be on VHS, maybe in the theater, in the drive-in, or whatever. It's yeah. just neat that that has sparked something in a lot of the viewers, which yeah. is really cool. Which I don't think we ever thought would come about, yeah. right? Yeah, we've got a lot of good feedback on the VHS vault and uh, people saying, I remember seeing this movie for the first time and this year on this channel or at this theater, which is, it's cool that, you know, yeah. yes, of course we all remember that. And that's the whole point is to just remember those first times where you were shocked or, yeah. or taken aback or drawn in buy a movie to you know? bring you back right yeah. bring you back to that day when you were a kid or whatever yeah. right so let's raise a glass to our faithful subscribers thank yes. you thank you all and next is the channels which we've got to know through 2018 of course had a very good relationship with uh grumpy andrew over at grumpy andrew's horror house <laughs> right He's tagged us in some things. We've tagged him. We've had got a pretty good rapport, right. like a non-verbal <laughs> rapport. Like, but you know, I kind of feel like I know the guy. A little bit. <laughs> yeah, a little bit. Yeah, if you can say that about uh, an Englishman across yeah. the pond, yeah. right? Another one got to mention is the uh, guys from Macho Movie Madness, formerly the Foppish Dandies, but right. officially changed their name to Ma Macho Movie Madness. And I actually collaborated to make their theme song. Right, yeah. Yeah, yeah. so that was fun. A shout out to Bran at Bloody Breakdown. Really enjoying what you're doing with your channel. He's very similar to us, even as far as structure. And the right. way he breaks down his reviews is very similar to us. So uh, keep it up and keep, keep in touch. And keep drinking. Keep drinking. And of course we have to mention our friend from high school too. From Kayfabe Chronicles. And uh, he's he always watches our videos. He usually comments. Yeah. Uh, and, hey, he's a mainstay. What can we say, right? Yeah, we love you, Joel. And yeah. we keep saying we'll get together for a drink soon, but... It hasn't happened yet. Time but... and family get in the way. <laughs> 
And I know uh, Joel really wants to do a joint video with us uh, on They Live. Oh, yeah? Because, you know, he, his is a wrestling channel, and Roddy Piper is in They Live, <laughs> and They Live is kind of a sci-fi horror movie, so it kind of works to do... Just put on the glasses! Put on the fucking glasses! <laughs> no! I don't want to! Ooh! <laughs> <laughs> Ooh! <laughs> Ooh! <laughs> Soon do you think the fight scene's over? It keeps going. <laughs> Just put on the glasses. Put on the fucking glasses. <laughs> and last but not least, we'd like to thank After Dark Analysis. She had us on her uh, public service announcement <laughs> video about uh, Canadian public service announcements. We had a blast. Yeah, we had fun. Uh, and I think we shot it after we had done a bunch of episodes ourselves. So we shot a bunch of episodes for our channel. Then she called us and we did the live call through Skype. Right. And we, we were already... Half in the bag. Quite half in the bag at that point. So I think we came off a little harsh. <laughs> and and with, we got a dark sense of humor. Oh, yeah. And sure. it shows. Uh, but we had a blast doing that. And thanks so much for having us on your channel. It was a, a great privilege. It was really nice for you to invite us on your channel to to do that. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, some of those videos maybe didn't call for our sense of humor exactly. <laughs> but, hey, that's what you that's get. That's what you get, yeah. <laughs> What is in store for 2019, Justin? Well... <laughs> First things first, we are going to be coming back with a batch of new brews, for one thing, and three or four videos that we can muster up here of the most underrated of the number three in the series yeah. of franchises or movies. We're not going to spoil it should here. we tell them some i don't think we should no yeah okay no, you're yeah. gonna have to wait till for the third season to see what we're gonna come up with yes the most underrated part three yeah part threes yeah so happy new year and like always keep, keep drinking, drinking.